What's up, YouTube? On this episode of Cattywampa Overland, we're going to show some friends some of our favorite places in the Daniel Boone National Forest. We don't need a destination. Let's go where the river's taking us. <laughs> There's nothing like breakfast around camp with great friends. We'd said goodbye to our friends from the Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway this morning. We had an extra day to spend in the woods with our friends, Justin and Michelle from Misplaced Overland and Skinny Guy Campers. So we decided to show them around some of our favorite places within the Daniel Boone National Forest. show you guys this cave down here. It's really cool. This cave is one of our favorite stops in this area and it can be found along the western side of the Kentucky Adventure Tour. Just upstream this creek disappears into the hillside. It shows itself here for a little bit, and then it disappears again. This area used to be very pristine and there wasn't any kind of graffiti or anything. And when we showed up today, this is what we found. All right, so on this week's segment of Shit That Don't Work, we're gonna talk about all the graffiti on the inside of this cave. We've been out on the trail for about three days in Kentucky. What an incredibly beautiful state. But this, this shit don't work. Stop that. Just stop it. You don't need to do it. It's absolutely senseless. 
and it just takes away from all the beauty that you have in this state. Be proud of your state and the beauty that you see, and stop it. Just stop it. Well, we showed them the dry creek bed, which is where the creek normally runs if the water gets up. They had to do a little bit of rock hunting as well. From there, we continued our way south, exploring on into the Daniel Boone National Forest. Asking if they want to stop you guys want to stop this old house? And you are, you're way back. Yeah, I mean, we're anywhere. You're completely self-sustained back. It's, it's a strange looking house. Um, because there's a door there, and then there's a door there. And there's, it's like a wood stove one. But that's more of, for cooking, you think? Yeah. We had made it to another one of our favorite spots along this trail and decided to stop here for a little while and have some lunch.
That little while that we were going to stay here quickly turned into the whole rest of the day as we decided to just set up camp here for the night. This was way earlier than we normally set up camp, but it was a welcome change as we knew that Justin and Michelle had a long drive ahead of them tomorrow, so it was good to just kick back and relax. Chef Justine. Give me your take on what you're making. So, we arrived at camp a little early, which is great because um, I get to stretch out my uh, cooking skills again, what little I have. And uh, we're going to make a little carne asada on the trail here. And uh, I'm going to whip up some uh, little pico and a little guacamole to go along with that. So, yeah, it should be, should be super delicious here. Okay. We sat beside the waterfall and had an awesome lunch and decided since we'd been on the trail for a few days, this was also the perfect place to set up the julka and have a shower. Deb had been promising Justin an Eastern Kentucky home cooked meal and this was exactly what he was looking for. Pinto beans, cornbread, fried potatoes, and Crouton winners. Man, was it good. After dinner, Michelle continued the magic with monkey bread. We had a great time slowing down today and spending a little bit more time around camp. Sometimes you just got to enjoy your surroundings and the people you're with. Check out Justin and Michelle's YouTube channel, Misplaced Overland. And until next time, see ya.